hi guys welcome to a drop spot so today's video is all about master labs quest this quest is going to last for six weeks and the six weeks quest is an incentivized one because in one of their twitter posts on master labs you can see that participants who interact with projects on their ecosystem will be rewarded to get started you need to have your own baby wallet so we are going to head to google chrome store and we are going to download the baby wallet extension I am going to put the link of the baby wallet extension in the comment section of this video. So as you can see, I already have the extension on my device. So what you are going to do is you are going to install it, set up your wallet just like you would set up any other wallet. Next, open your baby wallet and what you want to do is you want to copy your wallet address. So tap on your wallet address below your username and just tap on it and it will automatically copy your address so the next step is to go to massa discord server i'm going to drop the link to their discord server in the comment section as well for your convenience get verified first so that you can have access to every other channels on the server so you're going to go to the testnet faucet channel and you're going to paste your wallet address in the channel just your wallet address don't add any other commands to it also, you are going to head to Buildernet Faucet. It's another faucet on the Discord server. You are going to head to Buildernet Faucet and you are going to do the same thing. So paste your wallet address just like you did earlier. Don't add any other command and send it. And you will know that the bot has been processing your request for testnet tokens when you see that spaceship emoji under your wallet address. So that is that for getting testnet tokens. We will head back to the testnet website now. So open your browser and then type in dashboard.masa.net. That is the testnet website address. I'm going to leave the link of the website in the comment section as well for your convenience. And the first thing you are going to do is you are going to connect the website with your Discord server. Tap on authorize. Then the next thing is you have to accept their terms of service. If you are if you reside in any of the mentioned location, then you cannot participate in this uh, community program. So just for connecting your Discord, you receive five XP as seen in the video. And then the next thing you want to do is you want to link your baby wallet. So if you are tapping on it like I am doing and it is not working, you would have to go inside your baby wallet and log into your wallet with your password with your password automatically. Then when you come back, you can refresh the website and then it is going to work. So that is what I am doing right now. I logged into my wallet. Then I come back to the website and refreshed it and you can see it is now linked to the website. So if you check your XP again, you will see that it has increased from 5 XP to 13 XP. So the next thing you are going to do is you are going to switch to the quest tab. So the quests are in two pages. This is the first page. There is a second page. And your first task is to create a wallet with baby. And we have already done that. You can see it is validated. So we'll move on to the next one that says mint a mask NFT. So you want to mint your own race car. So you're going to highlight the web address and then open another tab and paste the address that you highlighted. If you don't know how to copy the address, I'll put all of the links in the comment section. Just type in your browser masker.net slash mint. So you have three different options. You can mint anyone, but I'll be going for the mint one for 10 massa. Confirm the transaction to mint your NFT. So, so the, the, the transaction is processing at the bottom of my browser. Now I've been able to successfully mint my car. To see your NFT or in another word your car, go to my garage tab here, follow the arrow, go to my garage and then you'll see the list of cars or NFTs that you have. So I have two, I already minted one before I made this tutorial. So I have two NFTs or two cars. 
So I have completed the task, then I'm going to return to the testnet website. I'm going to move to the next one. You will see that the one we just did, that is minting of the masker NFT, is not yet validated. The validation takes a while to complete after you have done the necessary task. So I'll just move on. I won't wait for one to be validated before doing the other. So the next task says to participate in a masker race. So highlight the address again or just go to masker.net slash game. I'll put all of the links you need in the comment section. So to participate, you are going to tap on enter for one. If you have more than one car, you will see option to choose which of your cars you want to use to enter the race. Then tap on confirm to confirm the transaction. But I learned that the mass car race is still under construction, so there is no actual race going on at the moment, which means even though I applied to enter a race, I won't be able to participate in the race. And also, it will also affect the next task after this one. So after I have been, I have confirmed the transaction, I'll go back to the testnet website. I will move on to the next one that says, watch a mass car race. So we are going to do that on the same website, that is masker.net slash game. So you can return to the previous tab or just copy the link and paste in another tab. And like I explained earlier, there is no active game because the master game is said to be under maintenance at the moment. So there is no active game to join, to watch or participate in. So after going to the website, I will just return back to the testnet website. The next task is to participate in an artificial reality game. So I'm going to tap on it and I'm going to highlight the link to that game. I'll copy it like I've been doing. Then I'll paste the link in another tab and if you cannot highlight, it's cr.masa.net. So open another tab and place, paste the link there. So after the story finish loading, you are going to tap on enter game and in this game, what you are supposed to do is um, there are six clues and four has been found, there are two left and every participant is supposed to look for the clue. There is no description as to what the clue is all about and I would say many of the people who participated in this game did not even know what they were doing, including myself. I was just staring at the screen, at the screen. I didn't know where to find any clue. But you don't have to be a winner in this game for your participation to count. Just spend about 5 to 10 minutes on the website and it is going to count as your participation. So after I, I stayed a while trying to explore the website, I couldn't find anything. If you go to their Discord server in the game, in the game chat room, you will also see similar discussions about the game. I couldn't find anything. So after about 5-10 minutes on the website, I returned to the testnet website. So back on the testnet website, I have completed the task on the first page. You know, like I said, there are two pages. So I'm going to go to the second page, tap on that arrow to get to the second page. And on the second page, the next task is to send coins using baby wallet. So tap on validate to take you to the task. Now you see a wallet address on this page. You're going to highlight the wallet address, copy it, and that is where you are going to send your coins to. You can send coins of any amount. And that is the testnet tokens that you claimed on this code. That is the coin you are sending. Copy the wallet address, paste it in BRB wallet and send whatever amount of coins that you want to send. If you can't highlight or copy anything here, I will also paste the wallet address in the comment section as well for your convenience. So I have opened my BRB wallet and I'm going to tap on send. I'm going to paste that wallet address I just copied and then I will indicate the amount of MAS that's their token MAS tokens that I want to send. So I want to send for 7.9 that's about 10% of what I have in my wallet. Then I'll confirm the transaction. So the transaction is still pending as you can see. You can tap on each transaction to see the details of the transaction. So I'll tap on the one that is payment that is the 47 MAS that I just sent. 
So the transaction status is still on pending. I'll tap on complete quest. Then I'll confirm that in my wallet. I think that is likely meant to speed up your transaction. Like you want to speed it up manually if it is pending for a long time. So that, now that that is done, I will go back to the testnet website. And the next item is to swap some tokens on Jusa. So I'm going to tap on validate to see all the requirements of this interaction. And I'm going to highlight the website where I'm supposed to conduct the swap. I'm going to highlight it, copy it and then paste it in another browser, another tab of my browser, sorry. And if you cannot highlight and copy, the web address is beta.jusa.io. So open a different tab on your browser and then paste the link there. beta.dusa.io So choose your level. I'm going to choose beginner because this video is for beginners. So I'm going to choose beginner then I'll tap on continue. Then you have to connect your wallet to so tap on connect, tap on baby, tap on approve. Now the next thing you are going to do is you are going to connect to faucet and get some testnet token. So tap on that icon that I pointed to right there on the top left of your screen. And that is their faucet. Tap on mint to get some WMAS, USDC and wrapped ETH tokens. So your tokens have been successfully deposited. Now we are going to begin with our interaction on DUSA. So you are going to go to the trade tab at the bottom left of your screen. Go to trade. So choose the tokens that you want to trade, trade between them. So I'll be trading between USDC and wrapped ETH. So I'll indicate the number of USDC that I want to swap to wrapped ETH. Then tap on increase USDC allowance. Confirm that in your wallet. Then tap on swap again. Confirm that in your wallet as well. The swap is successful. So the next item is to add some tokens to the liquidity pool. So switch to the pools tab. It is still at the bottom left on your screen beside trade. So you can choose any of the pairings that you would add, like to add to the liquidity pool. I just traded between USDC and wrapped it here, so I will choose that pair. Now indicate the amount of wrapped ETH that you want to add to the liquidity pool and then the appropriate amount of USDC will be added automatically. Then tap on increase wrapped ETH allowance. You can choose any of the pair. Confirm that in your wallet. Now tap on add liquidity and also confirm that in your wallet again. So we have done two things. We have traded between tokens and then we have also added tokens to liquidity pool. Now the next interaction is we want to do some dollar cost averaging. So go to the bottom right beside pools. The transaction of liquidity adding is successful. So go to the bottom right beside pool and choose DCA. 
dollar cost averaging is when you want to buy a token but you are not willing to spend all your money at once you want to be buying it bit by bit maybe based on the changes in the market when there is a price dip you want to buy when there is another dip you want to buy with part of your tokens so the next the first thing you want to do is choose the token that you want to use to buy another token so i want to use wrapped eth to buy wmes now indicate the amount of wrapped eth that you want to use to buy wmes i want to use two wrapped eth The next thing is you want to choose your frequency. Maybe you want the system to be buying the WMAS for you after every 5 minutes, 5 hours, 5 days or 5 weeks. So choose your frequency. You can choose what you want between minutes, hours, days and weeks at the bottom. So I'll choose mine as 5 hours. So every 5 hours from my 2 rat ETH, I want the system to make a purchase of WMAS for me. But I don't want the system to do it at once. How many times do I want the system to do it? Then you are going to indicate the number of times in the cycle. So in the cycle, I'll be choosing how long I want the system to come to do the transaction. So I'll choose 20, which means with my two wrapped ETH, I want the system to purchase WMAS for me 20 times at every five hours interval. Next, you are going to tap on increase wrapped ETH allowance. So you are going to confirm that in your wallet. And lastly, you are going to tap on Start DCA. Tap on Confirm. And the transaction is successful. So we have literally done the rest of the task for week one. We have to complete everything on the same page so I don't want us to be going back and forth between the same task. So I am back on the testnet website and this is the first page. You see that every other task that I did at the beginning of this tutorial have been validated except one which is to watch a mask race. There is nothing we can do about that at the moment. So I'll go to the second page and you can see we have swapped on DUSA, we have created uh, DCA and then we have also added to the liquidity pool. You can check the status of the interactions by going to your massa, your baby wallet, sorry, your baby wallet. Going to your baby wallet, tap on that clock icon and then you can see that the interactions we just did such as swapping, adding to liquidity pool and increasing allowance for wrapped ETH and all of that. They are still on queue, they are still pending. So that means you'd have to leave it for a while, so a couple of minutes, couple of hours if that is what it takes and then come back and that is what I did. So after a couple of hours, every other task on the second page has been validated. That means I have done everything and on the first page, the only task that wasn't validated is watching a mask race and there is no active game that I want to, there is no active race that I want to watch so there is nothing we can do about that. The statistics under my profile showed 84.5% completion and the only reason why it wasn't 100% is because of that mask race that I could not watch but there is nothing I can do about that. Though I, don't, I didn't really enjoy this interaction because it wasn't that straightforward. But that is all for this video. If you have any questions, do drop me a comment in the comments or join us on Telegram. I respond faster there. If you have found value in any of my contents, do subscribe for more. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in another tutorial.